Hello friends. Welcome to the help videos of the Simprosis Google Shopping Feed app. In this video, we will see how to fix the limited performance due to missing value GTIN warning. What is a GTIN? GTIN stands for Global Trade Item Number and is an internationally recognized product numbering system for identifying products. It is a numerical representation of the product's barcode. The GTIN format varies based on the product's origin and type, with different types existing worldwide. They can be 8, 12, 13, or 14 digits long. Whenever a product is manufactured by a renowned brand, it comes with predefined unique product identifiers like GTIN, manufacturer part number, and the brand name. GTIN are unique for each product and its variants. If any such product or variant is submitted without a GTIN in the product feed to Google, a warning of limited performance due to missing value GTIN will be raised. Let us try to understand the situations in which Google raises the warning against the product submitted and how to deal with each situation. Before getting to the details, please be informed that our app fetches the GTIN values from the barcode field in your Shopify store. So, ensure that you are assigning these values in the designated field. Moving forward, we will be considering two scenarios. When a merchant has submitted the correct GTIN value, but Google has still raised a warning. When a merchant has not assigned a GTIN value for the products in the Shopify store. Now, let us discuss in detail why the warning is raised and how to solve these warnings. A merchant has submitted the correct GTIN value, but Google has still raised a warning. In this scenario, correct GTIN values have been assigned in the Shopify store, and the values have been synced in our app as well. However, the merchant has selected the identifier option of brand name and MPN, or submitted the product as a custom product in our app. Selecting the option of submit brand name and MPN will only submit these values to Google and will ignore GTIN. While submitting the products as custom products will not submit any identifiers in the product feed. We are on the product details page in our app, and you can see we still have the missing GTIN warning even though we have assigned the values in the Shopify store. Here, we will simply change the product identifier option in our app and select the first option of brand name, MPN, and GTIN, and update the product so that the values assigned in the Shopify store can be submitted to the merchant center next. Once the changes are applied in the app, the values will be updated in the merchant center next within 30 minutes. Click on the Google Merchant Center link in the bottom right-hand corner. As you can see, the product is active and the warning has disappeared from the item status. Moreover, you can see that the GTIN attribute has been submitted through our app. Kindly wait for around one hour for the warning to get updated in the needs attention section of your merchant center next, as Google takes time to update the changes. Open the product page in our app and you can see the status has been updated and it is showing active. Further, under the item status, the missing GTIN warning has disappeared. Let's look at the second scenario. A merchant has not assigned a GTIN value for the products in the Shopify store. Here, merchant has selected the first option of submit brand name, MPN, and GTIN, but there is no GTIN value assigned in your Shopify store. In this case, Google will raise the warning as there is no GTIN value submitted for the products. If you have a valid GTIN, you can assign it in the barcode field of your Shopify store, and the warning for limited performance due to missing value GTIN should be removed automatically once the value is synced to the Google Merchant Center next. In both the scenarios discussed earlier, you can find valid GTIN either from your vendor, supplier, or manufacturer. If you are unable to arrange the GTIN values for the products, you can purchase them from GS1 which is the official provider of GTIN globally. You can find the link to this website in the description below. In case you are still unable to arrange the GTIN values, you can ignore this warning, as Google will continue to serve the products in the shopping ads results even with this warning. Hope this helps. Please feel free to contact us at support at for any further assistance required.